Oh yes, it is going to be a pretty morning, Wednesday morning. Got a big test coming up in 24 hours. And it's time to finish up what we got left of the semester. It should only be like four, maybe five weeks. So I'm going to get this push workout going, weigh in, and update you guys with what's going down. So let's get on the scale, get meal one in, hydrate, and let's hit the bench. Nothing too crazy today. Don't want to overdo it. Have a long few days, so let's get busy. See this weight, and I got some uh, some changes coming. So let's handle this. Get ready. The sub 200 already. What? Let's get this meal in. I don't even give a fuck. Alright guys, the study session's done. Figured I'd get something done before hitting the gym and now it is time to go get on this bench press. Alright guys, so we got 225 on the bar. We're gonna go for five sets here. I'm thinking seven, but I'm not sure. Let's get this first set filmed. I'll fly in the next four. And then we're gonna spend some time with the overhead press, but let's just hope these go well. Enjoy the sets and I'll start the voiceover after you guys see some benching. So enjoy, stay tuned, let's eat some food, let's get better. PCT bit one feels. Stay tuned. We got 245 on the bar. Just not having the energy to do, to do the five sets of seven, it's a lot to keep up with. So, since I'm gonna be taking a little break for the next little while, I don't wanna maintain the 225 for super high volume because it's a lot to recover from and it's a lot to keep up with in the gym. So the next few sets of this workout is just gonna be testing out to see what heavier weight feels like. And then as I get into these next few weeks of training, I'm gonna try to maintain some of that strength, but not go too crazy with the volume like I was before, because I can tell that forcing myself to keep up with the volume is more challenging than just kind of working within my strength limits. So let's not push the volume on the bench, let's push it elsewhere. Two more sets. Alright guys, there you have it, 265 for a triple. Um, it's not an all-time PR, it pretty much just matches where I've been. And for those of you that are wondering, it's been over a week since um, I've just been cruising and chilling on nothing. So um, a little PCT will start in about another week. And then once that is complete, in about a month or so, I'll be able to do whatever I want. And it just is a matter of seeing how I feel, seeing how my gym performance is, and seeing how that month of just kind of doing my own thing makes me feel. And the key here is to not really worry about how I look physically or how I um, am on the strength progress or losing progress for that matter. It's mentally um, to see what I can do and to challenge myself. So this is something everyone goes through at some point or another when you are 
working on your physique and trying to enhance your physique to um, the next level. And it's something I've done for several, several months, perhaps over 12. And it's time to give my body a break, give my mind a break, because you don't miss what you always have. And in some cases you don't miss what you don't have, but if it's something you always, always have until it's gone, you can't miss it, you can't appreciate it. And some people like to cruise legitimately, and I'm not gonna do that. Cold turkey it is, and I'll deal with it how I have to, and obviously I'll get sick of it pretty soon, but this is the first video and it's already been um, over a week. So let's see where we go from here. 265 for a triple is my starting point. Things will probably not stay like that, but it's gonna be a new challenge for me and I hope you guys come with me and can learn something from it. Deuces. All right guys, post-workout. It's about to go down. I've got two meals to go. You will see these shortly and I'll try to be at school it's one now, so probably from 2 to 9, and then my test is at 8 a.m. It's Wednesday, 2 to 9, Thursday, 8 a.m. test. So sleep is going to be minimal, but once that test is done, I can cruise a little bit, even though tomorrow is going to still suck. It's just studying for a really hard test that is the biggest challenge. So 40 grams of oats, a banana, two scoops away, two scoops-ish, run this bitch up, get to school. Probably chill, study for an hour, then eat again. Same old shit. Different day-ish. Yeah, I'm gonna blend this and be done. So I'll be out of your way in like one minute. So I don't know if you guys caught that clock. My phone is dead now and it's 9.15 and we just got out of the lab which started at 6.30. So that was the longest lap of the semester. And my test is at 8 a.m. so it's me. Mm -hmm. Gives me less than 11 hours to sleep and study for the massive test, which means I'll probably only get four to five hours of sleep and then just try to get a nap in tomorrow or a couple naps on the bus or a nap after the test. It's really not that big of a deal. But I always talk about gains and time and rest and recovery. And if you have a schedule like mine and you're trying to work out six days a week, you're fucking trolling yourself. What's up? And if you're trying to get in three or four days a week, you're gonna be able to get a lot more done because you're gonna be able to recover a lot better. So that's my plan, getting these four days in a week every time I can and it's still gonna be a struggle, so get a meal in now. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep now or later. It just kind of depends on how I feel. Maybe I'll eat, get some reading done on the couch, but I will check in with you guys for the next meal, which is gonna be soon, because I'm only four small portion meals in deep, and yeah, hopefully I get more time to talk about how to incorporate your training and get the rest and recovery, but that's the name of the game, because if you PR today and you don't sleep tonight, and you get sick the next day or you get a cold and you miss your meals and miss your water and fuck up your calories. Doesn't matter how good of a workout you had, you would have probably been better off hitting like a maintenance, low volume workout and getting more rest instead of PRing and getting no rest. So it's a balancing act. If you guys have a massive busy schedule, don't worry about progressing for that short term because it can only hurt you in the long term. 
if you get injured or if you fuck some shit up or if you fail what you're doing or get fired. Anyways, guys, let's get my ass home. Where'd I park? Okay. Let's get home and get grubbing, get studying and sleeping. And I'll end the day when I end the day. But it's gonna be a long one. Deuces. Fucking order 66, my gas mileage. It's 9.30. Beamer crew. All right, guys, check that out. You see that? It's 10.30 at night. I'm about to get my shake and a pb and in. And these hours right by my index finger are the new 24-hour, five-day per week. So the library opens Sunday and closes on Friday. And it's Wednesday, so I'm going to eat now at 10.30, study on the couch a bit until I fall asleep, and then just go to the library at like 4 or 5 a.m. and get ready for the 8 a.m. test, and probably just come home after it and do what I got to do. So. Alright guys, so that's the meal. Nothing too fancy, just gets the job done. It's probably gonna taste super good. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this at the study spot. That borrowing backpack crew. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, good fucking morning. God damn it. Straight up piano schedule right now. And my test is in two hours.